Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist. Welcome back to another Tabs episode, except with a twist this time. We're not actually um, so much, well, just playing the game, as it were. We're actually doing a little bit of a tutorial in this video, because I figured that YouTube could actually do with this. So, there are mods, as you know, available for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. A while back I actually did one, the modernization mod, though of course that's an out-of-date mod by now. But, um, there's, you know, there's, there's mods for the current version of the game, which is in version uh, 0 0.11 or whatever it is. And um, basically I wanted to install some, but what I found was that there seemed to be very few readme files that really actually tell you how to set your game up so that you can download and install mods. So this tutorial, as of um, this date when it goes out, this is hopefully going to be the most up-to-date tutorial in terms of how to do this and I'm going to show you how it runs. So basically before anything else if you want to install tab, uh, Tabs Mods what you have to do is you have to go to this web page that you're seeing here which is a Google Drive link. Now I'll probably post the uh, link to this page actually in the video description for anyone who wants to take a look at it. Um, so if you know you can just navigate to that link and you'll find everything there. You'll find lots of mods for different versions of the game as you can see, obviously this is for version 11 plus this video. So without further ado, we're going to do it. So when you come to this link, when you click this link and you come to this page, you'll see this. Now, for the latest version of the game, we go to version 11. Now, you'll see two subfolders within here, UML and UMods. Now, UMods are the actual mods themselves, but in order to be able to play those, you need to first install UML. And UML is basically a kind of uh, mod loader. It sets up the base on the, it sets up a kind of base mod loader in the game, which you can then uh, install mods on to mount them, kind of. Now, if you click on the UML link, you'll then see two here, the Epic Games Edition or the Steam Edition. So depending on uh, basically which platform you're running uh, the game off, you'll pick one or the other. We're using the Steam Edition for this tutorial, so that's the one we'll go to. So if you go on that, you'll see then there is a file called assemblycsharp.dll. You need to download this. This is basically the mod loader. Now, if we then um, go to um, this file over here, so this is the game directory for uh, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So when you have that C Sharp uh, DLL, you need to go into Totally Accurate Battle Simulator data, then you need to go to Managed, uh, and you need to copy and paste, well, basically you need to paste that um, DLL file, assemblycsharp.dll, into here. Now you'll see there is actually already an existing one. So what I would recommend that you do before you install the mod loader is to make a backup of the game's base assemblycsharp.dll file in case something goes wrong and you need to uh, repair it. So make sure you take a backup of that. It's very, very important uh, just for your own kind of safety, essentially. But um, once you've got the um, DLL file, this one from the uh, UML download page, you basically take that across you copy and paste it into there and like I say that gives you the kind of um, the base as it were so once you've done that um, you know you can run the game as normal hopefully and you'll see um, that the game generally runs fine um, and then once you've installed that you can actually start mounting mods onto the game so for this experiment what we're going to do is um, I'm going to go to this file uh, this folder that I've got on my directory here which is um, basically where I have a load of version 11 plus mods. So you see I've got a couple of things already downloaded. We're going to use the Space Island uh, mod as our kind of, um, as our example for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, copy that, control and see it, or you know manually copy it like so. Um, and then what we need to do is head across, um, not to there. Uh, so if you go back to the default directory uh, for Totally Accurate Battle Sim, where you see the game's uh, executable file. Now, when you actually install UML, you'll notice it puts a couple of additional folders into the directory, UMods and VDIC prints. So you go to UMods, you then paste your mod into there. And that's basically the simple instructions on how to actually install your mod. So you put it in there essentially. And as far as I'm aware for pretty much every version 11 plus mod, this is how you pretty much install them. So I'm going to jump cut here, we're going to go into the game and you're going to see hopefully that this has worked. So see you in a second everybody. Okay so here we are, we're now in game in tabs as you can see. So the Space Island uh, 
mod should now be installed and working correctly. So if we go to Sandbox, as you can see, and go across here, it is now installed. It is a map uh, mod, so if we then click on that, as you can see, everything now seems to be working correctly. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install some mods. Um, it's in essence, you know, um, like I say, you just need to get that mod loader uh, installed, and then from there you can mount, I assume, as many as you know, as many mods as you'd want to be able to. Though, of course, I suppose, um, you know, you just have to be a little careful. Because I imagine the thing is, the thing is to remember about mods is, that, of course, they're not officially supported, so they can break your game potentially. Um, so just bear that in mind. But that's one reason, for example, why I uh, recommend that you back up the base assembly C sharp DLL file or whatever it's called. So thank you then everybody, that's um, how you basically install mods in the latest version of the game. Uh, this was just a short quick tabs video because like I say, I haven't really seen any sort of tutorials on how to install mods for the latest version of tabs, so um, a lot of the videos that I saw seem to be relatively out of date. So I reckon that this tutorial hopefully should be fairly useful for people. So um, if you found it useful, then, uh, well, hopefully you did. Um, if you found it useful, then uh, just let me know down in the comments below. Well, than that, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, this is John Red now kind of signing off. Facebook and Twitter links down below for anyone interested, along with the Propagandist channel link. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. What is that going on over there? I have never seen that before, so we're going to go towards that. My health is not brilliant at the moment. My bloody inventory is jam-packed full of stuff. Ooh! Ooh! What? What is this, the fucking Eye of Sauron or something? Ow! What the hell? I found the Eye of Sauron, everybody. I'm going all Lord of the Rings up in this stuff. I need my friggin' um, thingy bobbers on so I can climb up here. What the hell is this thing? Oh, fuck off, snake man. What is this thing and what does it do? Oh. God, there's bloody monsters everywhere. This is kind of bad. I don't know what this is. 